7 a.m. first dose, 15 milligrams. 1 p.m. second dose, 10 milligrams. 1 a.m. last dose, 10 milligrams. SSRI felt empty, translucent orange bottles ornament my mind. Is it you or the world that makes you feel the way that they can? Is it you or the light that lights the little bright big in the dark? My thumbs twist metal to make the cherry applaud. Hide and seek in the mirror. There's no place to run. Okay, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. My dog absolutely loves these cookies. He's actually coming here right now. Hey! <laughs> social media works the same way as the dog. I'm social media in this case, and he is you or us. Basically, we're getting trained and we do things to systematically get a reward. For example, a cookie. He loves these cookies, so I can make him do stuff for these cookies. For example, high five, he gives me the paw and he gets a cookie. Now he enjoys the cookie and his brain is conditioned to every time I give the paw, I'm gonna get a cookie. That's how his brain works. But what happens is, me as a trainer, I make him do stuff, go and sit, and there's not always a reward. He's conditioned to expect a reward. See, he looks for the reward. So every now and then, he will get a reward. High five. Yeah, that's how social media works. Hooks us with the intention that every time we hope to get something, we get excited about logging in and having that notification. We constantly go into the app hoping to get something, but in reality, we don't always get the rewards that we're hoping for. We don't always get the dopamine hits um, that we so hope for. So that, uh, that's why social media is like training a dog. You constantly do something, post pictures, use the app in exchange of that dopamine hit, whether it's in terms of notifications, uh, content or messages. Good boy. Now you're gonna get another cookie from me. And get your favorite ones. Good boy. Step two, set your goals clear. Now clearly define why you want to quit social media. Is it to gain time? Is it to be more productive? Is it to do other things? Is it because you're just addicted and you're wasting too much time? If you have your goals clear as to why you want to do it, in the future it will become easier for you when things start becoming tricky. There will be times where you feel like using social media again, so having your goals clear will actually help you in this phase, especially the first few weeks when you're still trying to find what to replace your time with, you're lacking that dopamine hit that social media gives you, having your goal clear as to why you want to do it, it's really a good reason for you not to go back. So for example, set your goals and set measurable goals. Measurable goals in terms of for how long do you want to do it, how you want to do it, whether it's reducing the time overall, whether it's deleting it completely from your life, just set these goals and have them in your mind at moments when life just gets difficult in the sense. Step three, find replacements. For me, the replacements were reading a lot, started reading quite a few books, doing sports, hanging out with friends, just walking. Finding replacements will help you because you will be having a lot of free time that you don't know what to do with. Before you were spending two, three hours on social media and now you have two, three hours that you can spend doing something else. So having this, already knowing what you will be doing, whether it's learning a new hobby, a new instrument, learning how to play a new instrument, it will help you keep yourself busy. Busy and not using social media. The step four is to back up important data. I made the really silly mistake to forget to back up my data and I had around 13 years worth of pictures, messages, which I didn't really care about messages, but the pictures, worth of pictures that and videos that I care about from things in the past, trips I've done, friends, everything, and I actually forgot to download it. Then one year later, I wanted to download it and I saw that I couldn't, so then I requested Hey, can you send me my data? I uh, waited a few days and they told me, hey, you already deleted your account, you cannot do this. So please don't forget to download your data. You don't know when it's gonna become in handy. 
and to download it it's as simple as googling Instagram download data and then following their instructions. Now an optional step here is to tell people where to find you. I didn't want to tell people where to find me so I didn't. I wanted to keep in touch with the people that I already had numbers and with the people I didn't have their numbers and I wanted their numbers, I just asked for it on the message, hey, I'm deleting Instagram, can I have your number? And then I had their number. In the end, you will see that you will end up losing quite some friendships, but how I see it is, were they really friendships if you actually just keep on touch on Instagram and then you don't talk with them besides that? I don't know, in my opinion, those are not really friendships worth keeping. So in the end, I just didn't keep them. Now comes the most difficult step, which is deleting. So you have two ways. You can either temporarily deactivate your account or you can delete your account. If you're serious about quitting, if you're serious about not using social media anymore, I strongly recommend to use the permanently delete. It still gives you a 30 day period to think about it, but in my honest opinion, it's the best way to actually not use social media because then you need to create a new account and do things. It's really simple to create a new account, but yeah, you still need to go through the hustle of putting your email, creating a new account, following people, etc., etc. Now to delete it, you just go into Google, put delete your Instagram account, and then there's a page where you can delete it. If you're not logged in into Instagram web, it will ask you to log in into Instagram web, and then you will be able to select whether you want to delete your account or temporarily disable, and you, yeah, you just delete it. Simple as that. So then you deleted your account, and comes the last step, which is actually going out and enjoying your life. You pretty much now have two, perhaps three or four, perhaps one hour more of your life that you can do whatever you want with it. You previously said you were gonna do, learn a new hobby, how to play the guitar, so you're gonna learn how to play the guitar, or you said that you were gonna hang out with friends, do more sports, just go and do it, actually go and do it. For me, it was the best decision I've done in my life. And yes, I'm addressing the elephant in the room, I know YouTube is a social media, but in my opinion, it's a different type of social media where you can choose a little bit more what you see and what you don't see and who you interact with. There's no messaging, for example. I do know that social media has its benefits. I do know that social media can be good, can be bad. So keep that in the comments, don't say it. And I actually own everything to social media of all my love life, for example. Um, I'm getting married to the love of my life and I actually met her on Instagram so social media has both its good things its bad things it's just how you use it when you use it and who uses it for what benefits if there's something that you should know it's just if you still want to go out and use social media by all means do so just be a creator and not a consumer <laughs>